Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for simonsystamp.com. Going to be using the printmaking florals background stamp today, as well as the Excel Greetings 3. And the printmaking florals background stamp is actually the origin of my inspiration for today. If you'll notice as I'm taking the stamp off the clear sheet, that it actually is cut into different stripes or bands of uh, the stamp and I'm placing them back together so I can stamp them all together. So the fact that the, the stamp peels apart in different rows was the inspiration for my card today. I'm going to be stamping the entire background stamp in Versamark ink and doing some heat embossing. I'm going to cut all the strips apart and then do lots and lots of ink blending. Uh, having the separated strips of the rows is going to give me a chance to have really fun blending, lots of different colors and switching of colors, things like that. So like I said, I stamped this background stamp in Versamark and then I applied some gold embossing powder. The embossing powder I'm using today is the color Gilded from Brutus Monroe. And I decided to stamp the entire stamp. So my paper is six by six, but I'm only making a five by seven card today. So if I really wanted to, I could have just used a five inch wide piece of cardstock. I will eventually cut them down to five inches for that reason. So I used my heat tool to melt all the embossing powder. And then I'm left with this very shiny gold background stamp pattern. So I took a T-square ruler and a craft knife, and I very carefully cut these apart. I tried to space them out evenly. Um, it's not perfect, but I tried to be as even as possible as I cut these apart. So then I'm left with a bunch of these strips, and I'm going to do some ink blending. I have six different colors of ink from Simus' stamp picked out, and I'm starting with the color Merlot, which is a very deep, rich burgundy. It's the perfect kind of autumn red shade. I followed that with Mandarin, and I blended that to the left of the Merlot shade, and I'm basically doing a blend of three colors on each strip. This third color is Sunbeam. And I'm using the Simus' Stamp smaller ink blending brushes for all of the blending on these strips. So after I had all the blending done, I grabbed a paper towel. You could also just use a clean cloth. And I wiped off any of that ink that might have settled on top of the embossing powder. You don't get a ton of ink, but it is just enough to make it worth using that paper towel. So then I moved on to the color Soft Navy. And I put that in the center and then I blended the color Perfection off to the right. And then I'm going to use a nice brown shade, which is dark chocolate over on that far left side. And you can see how rich that brown shade is. So as I blend each one of these rows, I'm going to put the ones that I've completed right above. And this is to make sure that I have a variety of color on each like, you know, section, the middle or the left or the right. You'll notice that I also switched to a uh, grid paper in the background. And that's because um, it was a little bit easier to not have to clean up the surface in between the different ink blend combinations. When I was using the uh, replacement mat for the Tim Holtz Media Mat, a glass mat, I, um, because it's a slick surface, you can't, you go over that area again because the ink still moves around. So you have to clean it up in between each row. So I just found it easier to put down some paper. This is some grid paper from Simon and I just folded it in half. And um, by using paper as kind of like my drop cloth for my blending, the ink goes on the paper and stays. It doesn't re-blend. So it was a little bit easier to do it in this way. And that's why I switched to the paper as opposed to staying with that slick surface. So here are all of my strips here. I've got six strips to work with and I'm now going to place them or first I'm going to cut them down. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using a five by seven card base. So I'm cutting these strips to five inches wide. And I mostly just wanted to make sure that the embossing went from edge to edge. So even if I was using 
uh, you know, right at that edge, I still cut things off just a tiny bit so the, the, the embossing powder went all the way to the edge. So then I put some foam adhesive on the back of all these strips and I also cut an additional strip of just white cardstock that is a quarter inch and I put the foam behind it and then I could use that as a spacer to space all of these rows. So you'll see it happen right here. It's a little bit easier to see it in, pro in, uh, in process while I'm working on it, but I put foam adhesive behind each ink blended row and then I used that spacer so that I could get them spaced perfectly on my card front. And um, it worked pretty well. There were um, the last few rows I did have to eyeball just a tiny bit to make sure I got, the, got them on there straight. But I'm left with a five by seven card base made out of Nina Desert Storm and all of those rows. So I took a greeting from the XL Greetings 3 stamp set. I stamped that in Versamark ink onto some white cardstock. This greeting just says, just saying hello. And the way that this greeting is kind of stacked, I thought it would look nice cut out with a circle die. So I'm first coating it in some gilded embossing powder. That's the same gold embossing powder I used for the background. I heat set that with a heat tool. And then I grabbed my nested circles die set from Simon. And I kind of eyeballed which size would be right held that in place with some easy C tape and then ran that through my die cutting machine. So if you wanted to, you definitely could leave that greeting as just plain white, but I sort of fell in love with this Merlot color as I was blending it. And I was so in love with that dark red shade that I decided that I would ink blend onto my circle. And I also really loved kind of how it got kind of this uneven splotchy look. It almost looks like leather or something like that. So instead of trying to get it all even, I decided to just go ahead and leave it the way it was. I wiped off that embossing, uh, any of the ink that was on the embossing, just a little bit of that red ink. And then I decided I wanted a gold edge on it as well. So I used my Versamark pad and just added a little bit of ink right on the edge. And then I very carefully dipped it into my gold embossing powder. And I was super careful because I knew that where I had ink blended all of that red ink, it was not completely dry. So I just you know, was very careful as I applied the embossing powder. I then hit that with my heat tool and smoothed out all of the gold embossing powder. I did use tweezers after I got it started because I wanted to save my fingertips from getting too hot. I applied some foam adhesive behind that grating and then once again use my tweezers to kind of put the, the placement of the grating just right. So after I press that down, that finishes the card. I love all this ink blending. It's a little bit crazy with all the different colors. So I think if you wanted to narrow this down to just three shades, it would be absolutely beautiful as well. Just a reminder that all of the supplies I've used today, including the stamp set, the inks, the blending tools, everything I've used is available over at simonsaysstamp.com. And I have links down in the video description so you can click on over and get those supplies. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you guys in another video very soon.